Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you just a haul of some random stuff that Eric and I um, have gotten listed recently on eBay. So some of this stuff from yard sales, some from auctions, and all of that good stuff. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I have is actually a paperweight. This thing's super heavy. Uh, this paperweight here, we actually won this at an auction for just $1.00 pretty large kind of looks like an umbrella um, this is signed this is by called Millville is the name um, so this is actually worth a lot of money and we did not realize it when we won it at the auction Eric and I have just been kind of buying paperweights randomly uh, just to put in like glass shows and stuff like that on whatnot so we took this for a dollar because well it was a dollar at the auction we won it for a dollar I listed this on auction with a starting price of $109. So these paperweights by this company can sell very, very well. Um, I think it already has like three watchers so far and we just listed it. So I have high hopes for it. Um, so yeah, that one was very surprising. Uh, this also came from an auction recently. This is a Fenton Carnival Glass vase. Um, and people were saying at the auction, because Eric and I still don't have an antique booth, uh, but people at the auction that have antique booths were saying that carnival glass is starting to come back around. So I don't know how accurate that is, um, but we did win this for a bid of $10, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $69.99. We also won this blue opalescent um, hobnail cake stand this is also by Fenton this one is a harder to find piece worth a lot of money um, a lot of people have this listed for like way more than I do but this one here does have a little bit of a dip in the glass so I did list it a little bit lower because of that um, still absolutely beautiful piece uh, we won this for a bid of $50 and I have it listed as a buy it now for $299.99. Okay, I have this piece here. Here's the box. I'll show you the box first and then I'll show you the figure. I did take it out of the box. This is by Precious Moments. It's a Mickey and Minnie Mouse figure. And this is what it looks like. So it's a porcelain Mickey and Minnie. Um ice skating on what looks like a frozen lake and it's titled our love makes a lasting impression so i have the box and everything for this um this we paid i feel like it was seven dollars at the auction and i have it listed as a buy it now for 49 dollars and 99 cents this also came from the auction this is a finding nemo um, by Westland Giftware. These are salt and pepper shakers. So they look like this. They are ceramic. They have these little magnets on. So when you put them together, they kind of like nestle. They nestle together. And I don't think these were ever used. So just probably displayed by the original owner. Uh, these here I think were $10 because I actually got another set as well, which I don't have those listed yet. Um, but I did list these for a buy it now of $39.99. I have a, this is a Jim Shore Disney Winnie the Pooh. Well, it's actually Tigger and Roo. Uh, so it looks like this. So Tigger and Roo figure, and it's called Bestest Pals, is the name of it. Uh, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $79.99. That's what the last one sold for. And this here I think I paid, I want to say around $10 for it. I listed this Monster High doll. This is actually a baby. It's called Monster Family of Cleo Denial. So it's the little baby and she comes with a high chair and some accessories. She was new, still in the packaging. Uh, this was from 2017. And this here I listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I have two of these Department 56 Halloween water towers. 
This one is called the Haunted Water Tower and it's got this like ceramic ghost and these little mini ghosties and they kind of like wobble around. Um, this here I have listed for a buy it now of $39.99. Then I also have this one, again, Department 56. This one's called the Halloween Water Tower, and it has a pumpkin at the top, and it says Annual Pumpkin Festival. And this one I also have as a buy it now for $39.99 currently. Um, I've been seeing an uptick in Halloween and Christmas stuff selling. Like, I have packages going out um, today, and it's a lot of Halloween and Christmas stuff. I listed this cute little Napco pixie girl. She's got red hair. Super fun and cute. Um, I have her listed as a buy it now for $25.99. I recently picked up this book at the flea market. I got a couple of these like YA horror um, teen paperback books. Um, these were from back when I was a teen. I used to read these books. Um, some of these can sell really well, especially when you have lots, but even people who are collecting them and collecting certain series, um, some of those books can even sell good just by themselves. And this one is, is one. Um, this was from a series called Terror Academy. Um, and the title was called Summer School. And the last one that sold, sold for $30. I paid 50 cents for this. And I listed mine as a buy it now for $29.99. It already has a lot of watchers. <laughs> of all the things that I listed today, I think that has the most watchers. I also listed a ceramic little red pixie elf. Um, he doesn't have any maker's marks on, but he's super cute, has a cute little face. Uh, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I have this pair of cute little bone china mice, and they have little like spaghetti trims around their hat. Um, they don't have any maker's marks, but when I looked them up, um, other people had them as Napco, so I'm assuming that's what they are. I listed these as the set for a buy it now of $25.99. I also listed this adorable little mouse. He's in a green bell pepper, just a little ceramic mouse. Looks like that. Um, he is listed as a buy it now for $12.99. I recently picked up some girly candles at a yard sale. Um, just had like a bundle of stuff in a box. I think she charged me $12 for everything that was in the box. And I got quite a few things. Um, so I just listed the girly candles together. So there was this pink um, little duck. There was this yellow chick. And then also this pink little rabbit. So I put them all together um, as a buy it now for $29.99. I listed this cute little felted um, like Halloween decoration. You can hang it up. It's got like a little wire hanger. You can actually put stuff in it as well. Um, it is marked on the back by the maker. And this came from a yard sale. I listed this as a buy it now for $12.99 also came from a yard sale this is a coach um, kind of like a fanny pack so there are two buttons here on the back and you would loop that around one of your belt belt loops on your jeans to wear you know hands-free type of things kind of like a fanny pack um, and definitely like unisex and really nice leather. I mean, I don't think they ever actually used it. It still has the paper inside and there's a dust bag in there as well. So just a really nice bag. This is perfect for traveling. Um, I think I paid, I wanna say I paid $20 for this at the yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $79.99. This piece came from the auction. Um, so it looks like a candle. It's like a water globe. It is plastic with this glittery top and it does take batteries and then kind of like lights up. And it's really pretty. I'm like fairly certain this was from the Home Shopping Network. Um, when I looked it up and it has a black cat on the inside. It's a really cute piece. 
Um, this here I listed as a buy it now for $39.99. So this was a really cool piece. Um, a lot of the times when Pyrex comes up at the auction, I never really win it because there's usually a lot of like collectors there and stuff like that. Well, this piece came up at the auction. They call this print the Spirograph and it's a really nice casserole. I mean, in beautiful, impeccable condition. Um, this, this design, the Spirograph, this was a promotional piece, so extremely rare and hard to find. So definitely one to keep an eye out for kind of thing. Um, this here, we did pay $140 or $150 for, uh, but I did list this as a buy it now for $299.99. These pieces came from that glass auction that I've been sharing hauls with you guys. They were just kind of sitting here and I wanted to do them. Um, these are by Fenton and they are glass shades. Really beautiful. They have that lily of the valley design to them. So I just listed these together as the pair. They're ever so slightly different. They're not exactly the same, uh, but these would be beautiful on a lamp uh, these here i listed like i said together for a buy it now of 119 dollars and 99 cents eric picked up this tin at a yard sale um, it says plantation makers of fine hard candies so it has really nice graphics on i mean in really nice condition this here i think he paid five dollars for and we listed as a buy it now for 39 dollars and 99 cents these also came from the glass auction it's for a pair of really heavy ellie smith horses so you can use these as bookends um the blue are actually a little more harder to find um they made these in different colors i know we looked up some amber ones recently and they really weren't worth as much as like these blue ones were so these ones here i have as a buy it now for 89 dollars and 99 cents this little deer plush um, came from the same yard sale where I got the girly candles, so in like the $12 box. Um, I think they called these dream pets. It doesn't have a tag anymore, but it's made of like a, like a pleather material. Um, she's got these really sassy eyelashes and a bell. She has some issues, like I don't know exactly what's on her, whether this is like paint or whatnot i tried cleaning it up the best that i could but i didn't get too involved just because i didn't want to ruin um like the leather parts on her but um i listed her on auction with a starting price of twelve dollars and 99 cents and she does have a bid i listed this really tiny little napco girl she's got the spaghetti trim as well and she does still have her little sticker um, listed her as a buy it now for $9.99. Also listed this ceramic pitcher. This is actually by Lefton and it's dated 1970. So did I say pitcher? It's a watering can. Well, it's made to look like a watering can and it's got mushrooms on it. Now uh, this came from an auction and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. This also came from the glass auction. This is a like teal brandy glass snifter. And this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This little fairy doll, she does have like a string so you could hang her. She's in a purple dress with some like acorn accents and her little glittery shoes. Um, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I listed this coach purse. They call this design the Opt Art. Uh, this came from a church yard sale. So we got these nice coach fobs on there. It's in pretty good condition. The inside could use a little bit of cleaning but the outside looks to be fairly good. I paid $5 for this at the church sale and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. 
This is an L.L. Bean tote. They call this the boat and tote. <laughs> the boat and tote tote. Um, these people really like these bags. I mean, they're like indestructible kind of canvas bags. Um, so this one's in really nice condition. Um, I paid $1 for this at a yard sale and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. I have three of these like Tamagotchi keychain toys. So they have those like virtual reality interactive pets type of thing. I'm sure some of you guys remember them. Uh, this first one is the Nano Puppy. This one here I have listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I also have this one. This one is a Gigapet and it was 101 Dalmatians theme. This one I have listed as a buy it now for $25.99 and these were all tested and work. And then I also have this one which was called Tata Puppy and it is listed for a buy it now of $35.99. I also have this cute little tiny uh, long necked ceramic cat. It's just marked Japan on the bottom. This here I have listed as a buy it now for $9.99. Such cute miniatures. A lot of these like the cat and the little Napco girl and the little mice would look so cute in like a little miniature like wooden shelf. This here is a cat mug. So we have this one here wearing glasses. We got one in a top hat and bow, one wearing the tiara, and then one with a birthday hat that looks really grumpy. Uh, this is by Pier One. I got this at a yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $9.99. This here is a really nice made wooden pantry box lidded um someone handmade this i do not know the maker on this it's marked what i think is rmk and dated 1991 but it is so nicely made absolutely beautiful i love this thing <laughs> i don't really have a use for it but it's a really gorgeous well-made piece um, listed this for a buy it now of $25.99. Got this really cute cloisonne like trinket box. It comes with like a little wooden base. And the box itself is absolutely gorgeous. And you can put you can put something in it or just display it like as it is. So really, really cute. This here I have listed as a buy it now for $12.99. And then I have this little vintage Christmas angel. She says Christmas 1975 and she's holding a tree. There's some like tape residue on the back. It's just tape. I should have gotten that off before I listed it, but I did not, uh, but it will come off. Um, and she is marked Japan. And I have her listed as a buy it now for $19.99. So that's pretty much everything. I only have, I think, two things to show of stuff that I kept for myself. <laughs> um, I found these at a yard sale. I thought they were so cute. So these are just little blank note cards of these little Mises carrying a strawberry. So I got these to use for notes that I put in you guys' packages. Um, and then I also got this at a yard sale. This is a body shop body mist in the scent coconut. I paid two dollars for that. Um, oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. I love it. Very like summery smelling. Um, I don't think it's worth like a whole lot, so I just decided to keep it to use. So found that. Um, that's pretty much everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.